everybody, it's Brittany, and today I am going to be doing the lip swatch video that I, sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder, I'm at a different angle now because I moved some stuff around and I'm just, I, I don't know if I like it. I don't know. Anyways, so I did promise you guys that I would do a lip swatch video, and so here I am. And I got the darker, oops. Or light. Yes, this is definitely. See this black color right here. This is this is this is a great black color. No, um, I got a light one and a dark darker one. Um, ooh, the colors actually look better in this lighting than they do in here. Like they look super dark, but in this lighting, like you can see the blue. See, look, this one changes. Nick. So. We will be going into these. These are from Blackheart Beauty, and these are their matte liquid lipsticks. I think they're both, yeah, they're both matte liquid lipsticks. And I don't know how to get this out. All right, there we go. We're getting somewhere. So, yeah. I got them in the lights and... God dang damn it. I break a nail. Anyways, um, I got these in the lights in the dark set just so that I could kind of see, see no, it doesn't want to work, see how it worked. Because a lot of the times with liquid lipsticks, the darker formulas can come out more streaky than lighter formulas. Oh, and in case any of you are interested, I did my whole eye look today with the mermaid palette that I hauled. And um, as far as updates go on it, they're very blendable. Um, the cream ones that I pointed out are very hard to use and they seal like really quick. So it's re you can't really get a brush in it, but you can get your finger in it. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't tell, but I do have the purple one under here. And that one I just had to take my finger and kind of dab it along my waterline and fix it the, the lines with concealer. Anyways. But I just figured I'd let you guys know, um, if you guys are ever interested in doing eye looks or doing tutorials on the palettes, just let me know. So, let me get into this. I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start with the light ones first, just because the light ones, um, they won't stain. I'm worried about staining, so. Um, first I'm going to smell them. They smell very chemically, so. Don't be thinking you're going to be excited by the smell of these. So, these don't have color names. I'm just going in the order that they were in the box. So, this one is a peachier color. And this came out... Hold on, sorry. This one came out of... It doesn't really say. Just this Blackheart Matte Liquid Lipstick 4-Pack. And this one just has lighter colors in it. doesn't say which one it is. So, let me start with this one. I also like this. The only reason that I kind of like this new setup is a little bit streaky. Oh god, but it's thick. It's very soft. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be very, but it's streaky. So, you would probably need a little extra love with this one. And it's probably not taking up on the camera. Let's see if I can turn this light down. There. Oh, it's still a little bright. There we go. And this is the peachy-ish color on it. I'm going to just bring you in a little bit closer. So you can see, it is a little bit streaky. This is after two coats. It's not that bad. Actually, I take that back. The only thing I don't like is this. Can you see how it kind of... Wears a... I don't know if you can see it or not, but in person, like in the... Um, the mirror that I have right here, I can definitely tell that it is, um, like, chunky in the inner waterline. So, that to me is going to, in oops, sorry, is going to indicate that it probably isn't going to wear. Where did I put that off? In our back. But it's probably not going to wear, like, a lot, sometimes when you get liquid lipstick, especially with this color, because, ugh, now I feel like you're looking at nothing. Especially like with this color because this color is um, more of a nude. Um, yeah, see? That it's not going to wear nicely. It's it's not bad. It's already dry. And no transfer. But um, it's going to, it's not going to wear exactly how you would want it to if you were eating or anything like that. It's not going to be super long-lasting or 
I could be a liar because it's refusing to budge. think I'm wrong. <laughs> this does not want to move. Mm, I need a chapstick. Alright, we're going to end up with a ring around my mouth. That was a very irritating to remove. Mm. And now my lips are inflamed and red. I was going for a red stain look. Now I got it. Alright, so next is actually a lighter color than the other one. I must have put them out of order by accident, if you could tell. This one's more definitely of a nude. That one's more of a nude peach. Let's see how this one goes. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to apply these like perfectly. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Guys, I'm going to end up with a giant ring around my mouth. <laughs> So I'm going to apply them as nice as I can. This one is very much more, very much more, very much, yes. It's very much, it's, it's more sheer than the last one. Definitely is going to need the full two coats, maybe even a third. Alright. So, I don't, I don't feel like pushing the zoom button because then I could end up too close or too far. I could kind of like, I have it on a tripod so I can like pull it closer, pull it away, and I can have more control over it. Now, like I said, I'm not... Ooh, this one's stickier, too. That last one was not sticky. This one is, though. Um, can you see on it? It's a little more sheer than the other one. Um, I could probably do a third coat on it. You can see, here's my natural lip color. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't purposely, like, go extremely far away from the edge. It's just... This one is very liquidous, and it's harder to work with, and not only that, but a lot of the redness that you see here is just irritation around my lips. But, can we just talk about this? I don't like this. Mah, mah, mah. Don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Although, this one came out a lot easier than the last one. So far I like the peach. Next I'm going to do... is this supposed to be in this one? I think so. Um, next I'm going to do this, it's more of a mauve -y color. Ooh, now we're back, but I don't want it that high. There, that's better. It's more of a mauve -y color, it looks like this. And I'm actually going to apply it down here. <laughs> Oh, it's darker than I expected. Not that I'm mad. I'm done with dark colors. I have a lot in my collection. Especially around fall. Uh oh, this one's a little bit harder to work with. Yeah. I got a bottom one though. This one definitely is how it has the feel of what I thought the first, like, what I initially thought how this product would feel. Very liquidy, um, the drying process isn't the best. Oh, oops. It's very easy to get in places you don't want. Don't gonna be, it's everywhere! And it's hard to apply in. There we go. There. That's a lot of product, though. And you can see, like up here, it is a little streaky. That's not a big deal to me because I could easily, let's see. Sorry if this isn't straight, because it's hard to do it in the viewfinder. Let's see, now look at it again. It's so hard to work with this color. Not that darks are ever easy to work with, but it's very heavy. Oh, I have it all over the place. It's very heavy on the lips. Like, it's not... And I feel... Give it a second. Yeah. That happened. Alright. I'm not into this color. I mean, the, I like the color. 
and I'll actually probably use it when if I do a ombre. Look with it and uh oh. Don't be like that. Don't play me like that. It looks like it's starting to stain. <laughs> oh god. We're gonna be overlying today. I still have to leave. Ah, fudge. Um, Alright, so this next color is the black that was in that first tin. And with a delicate ooh, I like this one. I I don't think I have a black liquid. I'm kind of sad that it's going to dry down. I wish it would keep this wet look. Well, my lips look very hearty today. And by hearty, I mean like rounded at the top because I have points. Like the way that my lip is shaped, they come to a point, but again, this is harder. These colors are harder to work with. This one wasn't so bad. Now that this one. <laughs> this one I was having a lot of trouble with. It was very streaky. If you can see on this one, it's still drying a little bit. But it's not very streaky, and I it's still kind of shiny. I wish it was a little bit more, but this is what you're going to have an issue with. And I did add some to it. I can add a little more, but that's where the other one started. causing issues when I added it in the waterline of my mouth. But all in all, I like this color. It's black. But I don't have a black liquid lipstick. I have a cream lipstick in black. I have two cream lipsticks in black, actually. What color are these? These ones look so sim- oh, that's purple. Okay. Wait, am I missing one? Oh, no, here it is. Here's the Alright, so... Whoa! Those are the first ten. This... Oh! I'm just moving you everywhere. That was... Ooh! Yeah. It's just one of those ten. Uh, that's out of this tin. Um, all in all, I do like it. I actually think, though, that I am going to do a separate video because I am already, like almost 20 minutes into this video and I've just got the first set of swatches done from the first tin and so I think I'm going to separate this into two videos and not only that but I really want to give my lips a break. Scrubbing them like this is not really good and I have larger lips to begin with and it gets very irritating. Sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder it's just this whole face look does not go with this lipstick so it kind of, I keep like trying to look at it. I'm not like in a black lipstick kind of attire. I'm wearing a freaking Sailor Moon shirt. <laughs> My black lipstick. It's okay though. Sailor Moon would totally be down for it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to save these other dark ones for another video and do two videos on these only because I don't want to keep these videos like really long. And, uh,. That's just how I want to do it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope that you come back for more, because my lips are in pain. Not really, but they've been tortured, and they deserve for you to come back and just at least acknowledge that their pain was not in vain. Anyways, again, two different tins. This tin, all black, has the lighter colors in it. Go for that. In the end, I do not like this one. I like the color of it because it's uh, more of a gray tone. And this one was extremely hard to work with. I did not like it. But these two, the peach one and the black one, good. Love them. Um, so yeah, and then the next time I will be doing this tin, which is the, it has these uh, rivets on it. And has these darker, dark, dark colors. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see all you beautiful unicorns in the next video. Mwah.